My name is Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. Ending off the meeting will be race number seven, which is the Hollywood Bet's Bright Future 84 Handicap. It's over the minimum 1,000 metre trip for these individuals and an 84 Handicap. Having a look at the betting, at the early time of recording, there are no scratchings. Number six, War Empress is your 4-1 to one favourite. Number nine, Vision to Achieve 9-2. to two. Number 10, Pelargonium is 5 to 1. Number 3, Aisling at around 6 to 1. And then Status Quo, 7 to 1. Number 8, Love Bombs around 8 and 10 to 1. So that is the betting for race number 7. I'm going to start off with number 8, Love Bomb. Now this is a horse who's done well for me in the past and I've just been waiting for her to recapture her earlier form. She has been off the track for 112 days and it has been 569 days since she last tasted victory. But Devon, when you look at the rating, she was a 108. She's now 75. 1,000 metres might be a little bit on the sharp side for her. But I just think racing fresh, she's no doubt the class package in the race. And I'm hoping that she can bring her A game to the race course. 100% uh, correct, Sheldon. At around about 8 to 1, you, you cannot leave this horse out of any bits. And uh, as the saying goes, horses may lose their form, but they never lose their ability. She's definitely got that uh, class about her, and she's taken a massive rating drop, but we do know what she's fully capable of, and you, and you can't discount her chances. She has run against some solid individuals, so don't leave out number 8, Love Bomb. I quite like number 10, Pelagonium from the Yogis Governor Yard with Rachel Vinegar aboard. Maybe we can box the exactors there. This one's currently trading at around about 5 to 1. It's got Rachel Vinegar aboard <clears throat> taking the 1.5 kgs off. And if you go back three starts on the 24th of September, she beat Bomber Girl. So there's some, some good form to work with there. Prior to that, on the 18th of October, finished 5.45 lengths behind Sharfolia. I thought that was a good run. And if you dig really deep in the form line, she has finished 2.8 lengths behind Lady Heist. So there is some form to go with with number 8, Pelagonium, and I think that could be uh, the value and possibly a nice each-way bet. And then moving on to number 3, Aisling, who's now joined the Paul Gatsby stable. Now we know she achieved a 99 at the heart of her career. And on her day, she can skip along. We know she's not the soundest of individuals. But when we catch her right, we catch her right. Last time, changing stride, reported as short. But over a 1,000 meters, if she decides to skip away from them and she's striding nice and freely, she could try and steal a march on this field. Yeah, she's, she's very, very fast and she's very, very gutsy and she's got a reasonable draw of three, so no doubt she'll probably be in front and if they let her do it her own way, she could just pull away from them. And then touching on the current favourite, number six, War Empress, who beat Shot of Courage last time out. We saw Shot of Courage come out and frank the form line, so it would be foolish to ignore number six, War Empress, which makes it even more, more difficult, race number seven. More complicated, yeah. Um, War Empress, very, very good uh, last win beating Shot of Courage on that occasion. You heard Sheldon say the form was franked. And prior to that, she's been holding solid, solid form. So Chase Majan knows this horse exceptionally well. And she's got to have an undeniable chance uh, in race number seven, as do many others. Well, that's a wrap for race number seven. Very complicated. We'll see how, how they fare on the day. Number eight, Love Bomb from a 1900, which didn't stay last time out. They've dropped her to 1,000 metres, bringing her back fresh. Devon likes number 10, Pelargonium, so certainly worth including. And even a horse like number nine, Vision to Achieve, a horse who's in tremendous form at the moment. But race number seven, not cut and dried over the 1,000 metre trip. And let's see who comes out on top. Hi, I'm Trevor, 
the CEO of the same foundation. The donation we received from Interbase helped us in procuring vital life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huchesquia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you'd like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org. Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.